got nowhere to run. We should be good now. So build that wall and build it strong, cause we'll be there before too long. second upload for a second, which uh, scared me, but I think we're good. Okay, Why is the stream so delayed? You're not the only one. It's, uh... It's not the worst thing in the world that people miss it. I have definitely forgotten once or twice when I used to participate in this. Delayed the stream 
past that. I don't know why this is like a somewhat common occurrence on my PC. No. It doesn't usually like this. But the past, you know, the past two or three streams, it's kind of happened for some random reason. Even though my upload is like fine. It's a little disconcerting. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hopefully no one does stupid stuff in the chat. Fallen from my elaborate trap, and now you get banned from the channel. <laughs> oh, right, I need to turn my fan off. Sorry. It is indeed, Rubeth. JP has been getting memed on by life, apparently. Actually, I should see if... Thankfully, you're right at the start, so you can get it done pretty quick, like. I feel that. I would tell you no, but I'd just be a massive hypocrite. So, JP wasn't feeling all that great today, so he asked and didn't get a response immediately for another host, so he just said he might want to do a lab stream today and just vibe, but... Yeah, so their announcements the bot, whenever it announces the signups are up, it also links the signups. And I think there should also be a pinned message in announcements with the Google Doc link. And it's always the exact same Google Doc link. Or not doc, form. It's always the exact same Google form link. Back. 
can have... It's probably just going to be one match at this point, and then we can get started. But... I had a couple people offer for... Uh, helping commentary, but none of them are showing up right now. So, we'll see. It might just be me. Someone might hop in. Or Ruby, if you want to, we can just hop into like a DM call or something. If you'll feel comfy giving advice. I mean, only if you want to, Ruby. We don't need a second person. I can run. I can run it for today, especially because that's a smaller day. Honestly, we might just end up having an open lobby at the end as well. For memes. Feeling pretty good so far. Sign up for the beginner bracket, but you're actually playing with pretty good patience, Jeffers. And a delayed burst. These are all not bad choices, but that hurts. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing a bunch of the new names today. Got a couple people we haven't seen before, but I unfortunately. Because people joined the open lobby so late. It is now time to start the event after just... I didn't change the lobby. I'll make it a four-man. Yeah, so... You didn't... you aren't signed up, right? Pharma. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we had a little bit of a whoopsie and miscommunication. J I think what JP meant was there's a chance there's a lab stream tonight, but I feel like the way it came across, especially as an announcement, ended up making most people feel like it was set in stone that tonight was going to be a lab. All right. Um... I'll ping the hosts, try and get our first match going, and if no one showed up in the next five minutes, uh, Ruby, if you want, we can just hop into a voice call. But for now, we have Discord restarting itself. Okay, what? Discord, please. What in the... okay. Computer's acting up. first match going. Yep. No, y'all are fine. Don't need to start right on the dot. Oh, am I not on beta? Ah, oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. 
I mean, the difference is only lobby things. There's no actual gameplay difference, so it's not a big deal. We've just kind of been defaulting to beta for all of our events. And I guess I just didn't boot it up in beta this time, which is weird because I do that by default. Alright, we got the first two gamers here. Sounds good, Ruby. What do you mean, posture check? It's... it's so rude that you would make me take care of myself. How to play headless. We kind of do? Yeah. Hey, we're comfy with both parts of the character. I mean, we do know how to get it back. Yep, so. I will say this raw tags, so especially ones that are more considered like reversal raw tags, like Eliza's. They can get you out of tricky situations, but they are incredibly unsafe. So, I hope I don't see it that often from you. Good throw. Good DP. Okay. Y'all both have a... What feels like a pretty reasonable understanding of neutral in this game. It was nice to see. We're not just pressing buttons, we kind of know what our characters are doing. Still a little bit of spaghetti, but... Yeah, Fortune is the closest thing you get to a puppet character in this game. Does this work? Oh, it does. Kind of. In the middle of all of that. Yeah. Definitely saying y'all feel pretty comfy and neutral. Combos are definitely looking a little bit suspect though. I'll see if I can just DM call Ruby real quick before this game gets started. Hello, hello, hello. Good. You are kind of quiet, though. Yeah, I'm trying to bring get my get a little bit closer to my mic right now. I see. Uh, Y'all can queue up for the next match, by the way. So the format for this, depending, the whole stream is a bit quiet. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just the curse of my setup. I think I will a... go in. Uh, make Ruby at least a little bit louder though. Is it a straight pipe today? Or it's three. Three, three okay. Yeah. So, so the way this event works is uh, we, it's kind of like show matches. So we have people sign up, we try and match you up with people of relatively similar skill level and then you'll play matches on stream. And the, the whole way the event works is y'all while y'all are playing the matches on stream you have people like myself and ruby and jp the usual host trying to give the players advice while stuff is happening in the game and then so afterwards people can watch the vod either on twitch or youtube and figure out kind of the stuff they need to be working on yeah, and they'll also be able to at least hear the comments that uh, that we would make or JP, whoever is hosting as well. So, uh, what what other things that they can do to improve on as well too? Okay. 
But at least what it looks like right now, at least for for the for the for both of them, it looks like they're they're still just getting more familiar with the characters themselves. Yep. But I'm definitely seeing some things that look like actual neutral, which is honestly the thing I like to see them, because it's the harder thing to teach in Skullgirls. Combos are just spending a little bit of time in the lab. Yeah, you just you can you can just uh, most likely just go to the wiki and find what you need. Oh no. But it's definitely. Uh, but I I definitely think like at least right now with uh with the fortune player right now, they're at least they know what uh, it looks like. They know what buttons to hit as well too. Yep. Like what buttons to actually go uh, go for. All of them do, and uh, Jeffers has shown they know how to combo into a Liza tag, which is a lot more than I expect, honestly. I do not blame you. Oh, okay, we got the skeleton stuff. No confirm. Yeah, no We've locked it over here this time. Throw? Nice. Right, nice. We know the punish. Oh, we kept a GG. Right. Oh, we did kept a GG. Now, hard. Oh. A little. I think it's, I think it's what? A little, too, a, little too, a little too slow for that to connect? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna work. Oh, that should be good. I mean, they're just dead regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Couple things I'm seeing so for faces, I'm seeing a lot of uh, instant air dash jump heavy punch, which it's not necessarily an awful tool, but she has other ones, dashing at people and jabbing and or crouching light kick are also pretty good buttons. I saw you try and use a little bit of stand heavy punch as a poke. That's a really good infrequent tool to catch people out. I like that a lot. Um. Yeah, and then there's also, you can, uh, like, even for air buttons, there's also, you know, uh, uh, unjumping light kick as well, too. That's also a pretty good yep. poking tool. Jumping light tool kick as well. when you're above them. I saw you use jumping medium kick to air to air. And y'all can just ready up through all the games. Uh, there's if, if we go, like, if we have things to keep on saying, we'll kind of do, like, an addendum at the end and just keep on talking until we call the next people. So th there's no worries about uh, readying up too early. Uh, and then, so for Jeffers, seeing a bit more spacing, the main thing I'm seeing is a lot of squiggly jump heavy punch, which it is a good button, but it is not a disjoint. So I'd be careful about using it as much as you are. Jumping light kick is a phenomenal button for her. Crouching medium kick is a pretty good spacing tool. Uh, shove, it, it's a get great today. It's not a be great. That's that's Wednesday. Ah, uh, dang. The title didn't end up getting changed. It's unfortunate. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a little that's bit tough. of spaghetti. Committing yeah, to Silver I, I do, Lord is... I, I at least do like what Jeffers is where they're using JHP, like at least from the distance. Yep. But yeah, I think definitely... I, I think what is the first quickly? Uh, jumping LK? That's, yeah, jumping that's like the a great button. Oh, Daisy. Uh, so, that was not a counter hit. Faces, you could have jumped. That does not have any hit stop, so you can act after the super flash. So, w when you see Squiggly do that, you can just hold up, jump, not get hit, and then hit them afterwards. Yeah. So, like, right and... there, you could have done that. Alright. Back into the Eliza. I really do like that, that they, that they do know how to attack the man. Yep. Like that. Do we have a combo? Oh no! We used oh. those buttons. Almost. And we kind of uncomboed, but yeah, we're getting close. Do we know that we can snap? I don't think so. So, faces, if you're playing a solo, if you're playing solo versus teams and you get a hit, you can snap and regen, it's around 60% of your red health. And it is incredibly important for you to know. Oh, that's not gonna hit, you did it too early. Oh. I like the idea, though. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, it's just a little bit of knowledge things. And it's also just, I mean, y'all are getting comfy with the game. You'll have limited hours and you're just feeling it out, having a good time. I did like the things I was saying in neutral already. So, a couple things both of y'all can probably just work on combos a bit more and i i'm not gonna like <laughs> be a drill sergeant and say hey go into the training lab for like 10 hours 
before and make sure you have this down consistent before you ever play a game. Just if you're feeling up for it at a point in time, just be like, okay, I want to try and hit a full and dizzy BNB two or three times in a row. Go for it. Sometimes you don't get it. It takes a while to get a fully fleshed BNB out. Um, but it's it's kind of just time spent. And if y'all have any questions for how to make that process easier, I'll gladly help you figure out how to break down a combo so you can practice it in bits and pieces and then try and put the whole thing together. That's a pretty important way of learning yeah. to learn for Skullgirls. Uh, especially once you start getting towards the further combos. Yeah, so like it, it's definitely like for sure like um, um, I, I it's always something that you're going to hear a lot as well too where it's just uh, you know you go into the training room, practice your combos, things like that, but uh, for sure, oh, for sure, like just take it, just take it a bit at a time. It's it's not like all right, warm up, and warm up, do the, do your uh, bread and butter combo like ten times before you start playing in actual matches or anything like that. It's it's definitely um, something that you definitely will you will definitely start learning uh, rather quickly. But um, again, I think uh, the neutral the neutral t uh, type of things is gonna come over uh, come through time, but. Um, if there's ever like which which combos to do, there's um, always I will always preach the wiki as well too, so that way you know uh, which uh, so that way you at least you know what beginner combos to do before we before trying to find oh let me do the optimal one anything like that. The wiki is a phenomenal place for resources. One final point I want to say I didn't see it too much, which is why I'm surprised I didn't actually have to say it during the matches at all. There were a couple of times y'all went block strings all the way through to your heavy buttons, which is not going to be safe. Um, and so as a general rule of thumb and a habit, I would encourage you to get used to ending your block strings on mediums. And so you're, you're doing your hit confirms and seeing if you actually get the hit or not and you're not extending into the heavy unless you know you have the hit. Yeah, because uh, later down the line, uh, for sure, it, uh, once you uh, once you start going to play against like uh, veteran players as well too, they'll definitely they can definitely do things like uh, push block guard cancel at your heavy, and they can uh, take their turn and pun and punish you heavily for that as well. But overall, I really liked the things I saw. It's honestly just more game time, a little bit of time in lab, but as long as y'all are putting in time and enjoying the game, you're gonna improve. That's the really nice thing about at the very start picking up a game. So I liked what I saw. Yep. Good job. Good job. And I think I'm gonna uh, kick y'all out of here, not to be rude, but just to keep the event going on. Um, and then who's up next? Then Tay's saying about uh, getting Maze again on as part of it. I don't know. So uh, I think it, I think it might just be that we don't have that many players right now. Yeah, the, the the reason you're playing Maze again is solely more so because y'all two are a relatively good match, and because of how few people are signing up, there isn't really a good other option to put either of y'all up against. Uh, it's like uh, I I definitely tried to figure out other ways to do it, but it just wouldn't work this week. And it's the unfortunate part of when we have a lower volume of players. This is the exact same thing that happened to Dr. Doc and Dry Trap for God knows how long. They almost always ended up getting matched up against each other when it was like two or three years ago and the event was consistently maybe three or four matches a week. But, I mean, this, right now, it's definitely a slower time because combo breaker's done. Not, it, there's not a lot for people to be working towards right now. But it's, it, it kind of comes and goes. Summer is definitely a little bit of the slower time, at least until August, late July, August, if I'm remembering correctly. But let's have, at um, I 
I think L I think L LG and um, Badger are main. I think they're familiar. I think they were what yeah. playing. They were they played in B grade this week, didn't they? Yeah, no, they did. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I'm pinging the right. I'm pretty sure I am. So. Yeah, I think I saw Badger on least ch uh, on chat here as well earlier. I think. I think it's a Badger, or maybe that might be a different one, but. <laughs> I heard one. We got Badger, yep. Mates is playing Fortune Annie Beam. Can he just have an open lobby? I don't want to play versus that thing. Well, not 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 to be rude on that one, Tay. It's definitely like even if it's not Maze, there's still gonna be someone out there that's gonna be playing it. So, like, um, unfortunately, uh, even right now at the at the current state of the game, you know, yada yada yada. It's it, we're we're all having to push on push on through it, but um, that's definitely up to if, if uh, Dunce is okay with that, or if you if you if you really want uh, some uh, someone else. I think we can. I, I don't know if you're okay with the Dunce to maybe two open lobbies for them if if worse comes to worse. Yeah, I mean we have time. I'll just set up. I'll make it open lobby for both of them. Yeah. Right, so we got Badger, and then we're still winning on our other person. And this one might also end up being an open lobby if LGA yeah, does so not show up. Give him a couple the, of minutes, but... Only, yeah, this is the intermediate bracket. Or not bracket, but <laughs> intermediate group. I don't know why I keep thinking, thinking it as like bracket right now. When did I send the ping? It was like what, half an hour before the event? 18, so they have three minutes left. Alright, I counted down on everyone. <laughs> I'll, get the, I'll get the timer out right now. <laughs> At the exact three minute, we <laughs> could just vibe for a little bit. If y'all have any particular questions, questions, concerns, AMA note. <laughs> AMA. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking a break for a reason, too. I've been on quote unquote break from playing in tournament. <laughs> oh wait, did I miss a question? Uh, but, 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 uh, hold. Did you post it in chat, Des, or did you already? Yeah, just it reshoot now? it. I can't find it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I missed that. Okay, but just in case. So. Yes, you can make heavies safe by s using specials or assists. The reason we recommend not getting into that habit is... So, the, the heavies by themselves are not safe. Not every character has a special that is safe on block. And the problem with that is, if you're not doing it intelligently, you will be liable to be push block card cancelled. And so that that is, well, yes, you can use other things to cover yourself and make yourself safe. So like for parasols, they will oftentimes default into L shot. But if they're staying really close, you're liable to get push block guard canceled, which can open you up. Or sometimes there's other gaps in your pressure. So again, using parasol L shot as an example, if you get push blocked out and then go for the shot, you can just get mashed on. So like, uh, Squiggly SBO or Eliza DP will both catch the parasol there when they're using a special that's quote unquote safe. Yeah, so um, so not sure if you, uh, so is, uh, I'm I'm gonna be throwing off like it's it's not like in other fighting games like say in Street Fighter or even Guilty Gear where you can just do like like your your poke and then and then you throw the fireball and your aim is like okay you're you're quote unquote safe. And, and and Skullgirls is definitely going to be a lot a lot more different. Um, like Dunn said, there is going to be in some ways like even for Beowulf, 
and double. He can do his chairless uh, to, uh, down uh, down two HP and have it be covered by uh, his by the assist. But it grants that it it, it it can definitely be punished by a uh, push block guard cancel or any other other ways if there's um if there's gap in between your and in, into your uh, string as well too. So it, it's definitely just better just doing your your light medium or just light medium special if anything else I before we continue this conversation this is now an open lobby All right. so chat gets first dibs so if someone's lower to middle intermediate preferred did someone join and then get that shot? was me as I saw oh was, whoop oh, he first came in all right well <laughs> smoked <laughs> Because we're on retail right now. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I messed that up. Whoops. But yeah, so for, to kind of quickly cap up uh, the conversation, assists are different, but it really depends on the assist. Because if you use the assist to make yourself safe, there's still a chance you get push block guard cancelled, and if it's not an armored or reversal, or reversal assist... You might just get DP'd and happy birthdayed. Uh, but yeah. at a very high level, what a lot of players will do is they'll notice the timing of the push block, call their assist to cover it, and then pressure off of that. So they make themselves safe from the push block guard cancel and then get pressure off of it afterwards. But that that is like going all the way around the circle where it's like you need to know what you're doing when you're doing that. And even then, it's still incredibly hard. So yeah. Oh, we're just going for it. Axe, axe, axe skeleton. All right. Control. Oh, we're staying in skeleton. Yep. We got a sweep, we got grab, a... or or so sweep, throw, hit, grab, or snap. Oh, Good punish. Um, umbrella, umbrella DP assist. Okay. Ooh. Oh, they dropped. Oh. Not quite getting our blocks. We keep calling the assist each time. Yeah. Oh, we have oh, lowered air dash. Nice. If that, if you needed to combo after that sweep, you did it a little too early, but you got the kill, which is good. Oh wow, what a trade! Good All right, nice. We you. got the pickup. Oh, we didn't get our. Oh, no follow up. Oh, I had PBGC get hit. I... They did try for it. Got hit low. We needed to yeah. manage our and Dizzy a little bit better there, but yeah, overall good pressure. I think after that they could have gone into super, right? I think they have they have, or because even though they had the high on Dizzy, I think after that string they. they you also could have just yep gone straight into. But did they have three bars? Because I'm pretty sure level Lady of Slaughter might be too slow there. Well, after the JHP, I think they still could have done the 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 level one and then. Oh, you're you know, talking about the one. air grab, yeah. Yeah, because because it's just still combo, right? It's a hit grab. Yep. No, it doesn't. It should. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. Just pay attention to Undizzy, because you didn't start. I, I don't think you started the combo at. Uh, empty Undizzy. Just mm -hmm. a thing to be keeping track of. Right. Yeah. Always be be on, be on the lookout for it. DP round start. While it is going to win you some games. Do it occasionally, because it's more so a knowledge check than anything else that every character can punish you for. I'm 90% certain on that. Yeah. Oh, we didn't attack. Getting schmixed. Yep. Two. Oh. We need to work on that uh, combo a little bit. Those I was trying to do it intentionally, thinking it, thinking it's a, it's a like a hard knockdown or something. Good pressure, but there we go, Ooh, going nice. into the heavies again. We got lucky; they got hit with the overhead. Yeah. Uh, we don't know about the pickup. Oh, good anti. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh no. Oh. All right, our turn. Oh, unfortunate drop. Yeah, went for lower air dash stuff. We know the confirm. Munch. Alright, let's get back to the body. 
Yep. Oh no. Drop. No, we have to. We already oh. have Max under there. So. I would not recommend mashing Lady of Slaughter. It has an incredible amount of startup that is not invulnerable. Yeah, I think I think if anything, it's probably level three, and then they can try to get out of there, right? <laughs> Cut sleeping. They should. All right. Okay. Oh, is there an audio lag? Is it between? Is it in terms of the com? Uh, I'm not sure. The commentary, or is it uh, us? Or the game, I should say. Oops. I just saw that right now. I hope they just mean <laughs> that we're answering questions really late. I know the whole stream is incredibly delayed for some reason. I'm not sure. End game audio. Oh, end game audio. Uh, might maybe it might have to be. You might have to refresh the stream. It might be that. Oh, just I just realized we just switched. We switched the order. Switch team order. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get the pickup. Pressure with assist. I like. I do like the word the usage of of uh, Umbrella 60 P is used, but the Eliza, I think, is just probably better. Yeah, in, in those yeah. that situation. And that is where Daisy will get destroyed. Because they can do that on reaction. They had already jumped before you went for it, but. That exact same thing can happen on reaction. Oh, oh hard tag. Oh, we oh. also raw tag. <laughs> oh. Okay, burst. burst. Nice. Yeah. Oh, let's just save this. All right, let me see the, um the umbrella. Already used those buttons. Yeah, the jumping JHP. It's work to get in. Can you see get hit? Yep, we went into a heavy. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get punished. Yeah, I, th I think it's, I, I think they, they needed to do the other version. Yeah. I don't know which version that was. They need to do the non the wall. Oh yeah, the shotgun RKO. Right. Oh, it's a little slow. Alright, reset opportunity. Oh, unless. Good push block, but, uh, yeah. We got a sing for something. Or we got a charge for something. But yeah, so. For Je Jeffers. I think the main thing is kind of just getting comfy dealing with pressure. You were not push blocking the things you needed to be, or just push blocking enough in general. So the assist kind of got on you. They stuck on you. Oftentimes you kind of got hit by the assist when the point wasn't nearby to threaten anyway. But I think that's just you still learning the game, learning how to play defense. Defense in this game is mad whack. <laughs> Yeah, and I think even, uh, I think, yeah, just, I mean, granted, for, for you as well, Jeffers, uh, Jeffers, the, at least the benefit of, uh, benefit of doubt, just like, yeah, you, this is, uh, beginner versus intermediate as well, too, right now, so you kind of see a little bit more of the, uh, a little bit more as, you know, you saw that Badger's doing, a, like, full, uh, at least for the most part, doing mo their full, co uh, their full combos, all the, the two, uh, the what is it? What do you guys call it? The two forty uh, undizzy. Yeah, two forty combo. Full undizzy. Yeah. Full undizzy into super is like the stock standard BNB. If you have that, that's a really good benchmark to like hit and set to have consistent. And so, it it was looking mostly there for Badger. We definitely went for lowered air dash mix, which is hard. And you hit it a couple times, which is really good. You also dropped it, so just understanding getting that a little more consistent. Same thing with combos. There were a couple drops. Our boats were not timed right occasionally for our combos to the point where like we wouldn't be able to pick up after them. And then sometimes we just didn't get our DP after boats. But yeah. that's that's kind of just a little bit of consistency thing. 
overall, I think... we got through the majority of the combos. We went for mix at pretty reasonable times, and we capitalized off the assists or the hits our assists got. So it was looking pretty good. Yeah, there was definitely some parts in the beginning for sure that there was uh, the assist where the assists were being called out. That definitely just need to be careful with that for sure as well too. And I think I think it was also against Jeffers that was that they were trying to uh, what call it. They did they did punish both of the uh, both of the uh, the point and the assist. So it, it's it's also just uh, being careful when, when you're calling it as well too. Like when you're starting your offense, I did see the uh, the Umbi DP coming out, things like that. But yeah, overall, uh, it definitely looked like you you're you're you got your Liza down. Umbi was looking good, and then uh, same thing, Philia. Uh, just making sure that you your consistency with the combos is there too. So definitely just making sure getting in the lab and practicing that. All right, and we have the next matchup already. We had Maze uh, versus Open Lobby that Doc was very quick to claim. Yeah, Doc de definitely just came in and said, "Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not waiting for. Uh, I, I didn't even announce it was open lobby yet." <laughs> Doc knows. Doc's been around these parts. He knows how the system works. He just came off of one of us. <laughs> didn't even finish. <laughs> he he, uh, so he was he was smart about it and waited to ready up until after we were done commentary though. So yeah, he did it right. Can't be mad. <laughs> All right. So Maze, Fortune, Annie, Beam. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm I'm always so confused as to what team exactly Maze wants to stick with at Don't this point. It. So playing this team, Doc got caught. Yeah, Doc got caught. This should be yeah. This should be dead. <laughs> we know the right yep. route. Yep. Follow the script. All right. Yep. Corner carry. And the corner's ours. All right. Coming next. How are we, we draining this to go for a burst, though? though. Oh. I don't think that's the right one. Yeah. On the same side. We did not need to push. Oh, we're we're go bringing ourselves to a corner right now. Oh, Good two and they 2 LP. Love to see it. <laughs> okay, body block. Oh. Dude, you could have kept hitting, but it's... Nah. You're keeping yourself safe. Oh, that nice. hit? What? No. Yeah, it still has hit stop for when it's point, isn't no, it? No, I know. I was surprised it hit the uh, crescent itself. Oh. Yep. Nice. Can't be jumping oh, versus A train. We dropped a oh. confirm doc. I'm giving doc the benefit that it's been a while. I don't think they've been playing. <laughs> Change up the pace, approach. I like it. Alright. How to make Go your zoning ahead. a lot more threatening. Oh, we're yeah, we definitely don't assist. need to. Okay, nice catch. Play Oki. Throw. No, we can definitely kill. No, we go for oh, no. reset. No, oh, come on. Push blocking the final hit of Beam is really scary. It kind of just locks you up for longer than the assist normally would. It always throws me off too, uh, as well because I I keep uh, I it, that beam actually lasts a lot longer than you think. I mean, whatever's best in the game at the moment is still a team. That's exactly what Pen Pen does, and they just won CB. <laughs> if you want to say yeah, Pen Pen won CB without a team, sure, go ahead. But they still won CB. <laughs> Please. No, I, I think I think it's just a thing because Maze usually is trying to play like Fuqua double, and then every other time they just play, they just go resort back to this. So, so that's why it's just like, so what are we? What is what is the team we're trying to play? <laughs> or we're trying to Using learn. Beam to approach. All right, nice. Well, high. All if right, you're Jay's using here. Beam, you really need to be aware of when you're calling oh, it. because the second there's another assist, especially a forward moving assist on Echo. the screen. You have to know you can't call it because it'll just get hit and not do anything. Nice DP. Uh, you need to, if you want that combo to work, you need to do stand heavy kick for two hits, not three. The second hit okay. vacuums in, the third hit hits them out. Good mix. Oh, reset. Nice. We did this not need to spend the two bar here. I think they just wanted us also switch out uh, fortune as well too. Yeah. So. I, I would have preferred 
getting the corner first, but we still kind of got there. Throw out of the corner. Oh, that combo. Oh, got mashed yeah. on. I disagree with this meter spent yeah. completely. Oh, oh, I thought that was gonna push through. So, when you're full screen, you don't need to, especially on a small character like Annie, you don't need to make sure you're jumping to avoid the beam. You can stay under it and contest it, contest it with crouching buttons. Uh, like I'm also pretty sure she can she can just stay dug too. Yeah. Good All right. Ooh, we got the punish. Nice. But nothing afterwards. So, for Doc, you. Oh, the fact that you yeah. up backed there, like the couple in neutral interactions ago after the scramble and everything reset, you gave the forge the robo enough space to kind of just back up, look at everything that was going on, and then they just super jumped and got over you. All right, we got the corner. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, the robo's out. Yeah, Maze, all Maze needs to just do is just, you know. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Head drone. That was actually really I, smart. <laughs> I didn't even notice that they already did the, the drone call. <laughs> I, I thought that was a mine, but this... <laughs> yeah, that was a missile. Yeah, def Get definitely this. like in this matchup, like, uh, especially for Bayo Ban, it's like... But that brass, this, this uh, like just deal just trying to get around and deal with beam and all that definitely feels. Ugh. <laughs> I should practice my uh, beam max team more smile. It's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love everything that that deals with uh, my favorite characters. Oh, we didn't get the happy birthday. Again, we needed to stand heavy kickbacks too, but even then, that might not have worked, so that was really sketchy. Oh, we threw the chair. Okay, yeah, you're plus one. Oh, we didn't get the, we didn't get the pull. <gasps> Alright. Good tag. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright. Oh, no. No, yeah, our is still on cooldown. There's a beam. No, you don't. You, you lose. No. Oh, oh my god, that wins. Wow. Why did we not go into Stinger there? I'm really surprised. Yeah. Doc, okay, with the raw tags, please. Yeah, that I definitely would have just kept kept Annie in and then try to go for at least stagger if you're trying to tag in Bayo. Okay. Anyway, we get our chair back though. All right. We're losing the character. Maybe it stops for holding the corner aggressively. Uh, okay. All right, we try for it. So the longer, oh my, yeah, oh, that's a that sweep. <laughs> because it was space. I think it was also meaty too. Yeah. Okay. So it worked out. It's you. It's just in this matchup, especially with any assist, the way you have your rascal get PBGC. Oh, yeah. You got. It. Lucky Doc didn't do it on the first one. And Doc is continuously overextending into DP assist. But. Yeah, okay, you're running away now. Oh, nice grab. Holding that aggressiveness in the corner in this matchup is not really necessary. You can do it, you're uh... just playing with fire. So as long as you recognize that's the choice you're opting for, I'm okay with it. Oh. Also, not too sure why we went into install for the. I think it was for the beams. Was it just for the beams? Alright. I think that was memes. <laughs> install is strong, especially in neutral, but. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, is I, I, I was just, it wasn't like comboing or anything. It was just like you you dead hit in missiles, and yeah. I was just thinking, I was just thinking just keep just keep playing the zoning game, which I. At least personally, for me, that's what I I would think. Uh, at least if you're if you got the life lead like that too, and especially for a team like that, you can de just definitely just back it up and yeah. zone more. They they have to work for they have to work to their themselves to get in, and yeah. getting in against a double like that is not. Uh, oh wait, but who's wait? Uh, Yo, I mean, it, it is an open lobby, but it was more 
I don't know if this will be a great matchup for you, Dovadox, because they're also playing in the next one. Uh, this yeah, might be rough. This might be a little rough, but <laughs> if, if you're willing, I guess. But yeah, so. Oh, they also write it up before we can finish talking about the other one. To wrap up the last match, one thing I will say, Maze, I noticed a lot. You were opting heavily into using DP to make your pressure safe. Just know that people can push block you out when they see the DP assist, chicken block the DP assist, and then they're pretty actionable. Yeah, so if you're if you're relying on that, one, you won't always have the assist. Two, there are ways to get around it. So I would I would try not to use it as much as you have been. But all right, let's go into this game. And then I think the other the other thing as well too. Well, I, I can say it afterwards after this one. Well, definitely I have some stuff for dog too. But this one's more important right now. Oh, we try to go for the reset. Oh, we didn't get the pickup. Alright. Also, one thing to note, especially oh, no. for ban, uh, if you do use the DPS reversal, try not to shake like that, so that way your combo does not scale. Still in your head, because you're banned. Alright. Alright. Command grab, BFF. No, Max on Dizzy. Alright, jump it out. You have to parry that, unfortunately. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that <complex>, that... Yeah. <laughs> and. <laughs> okay, so. We have 5 meter. You were kind of on defense for a lot of the game, but it's still going to be rough. And Agent, you're up next. You, ha you had asked to be a little bit later, so I just put you at the end. You're, you're all good. You're still going after this. Yeah, it's just that your partner came in for the open lobby part. Yep, so. for the... So, you haven't missed anything. Okay, back it up. Let's get the zoning pattern going. Alright, we're zoning. Good oh, nice. Time. We capitalize. Lisa. Okay. Oh, we missed oh. time it. Yeah. Punch, Punch move. move. Oh, wow, that's really good. Patience. Push blocker off. Yes. Okay. Oh, nice. Alright. Back to start. DHC. Oh, this won't kill. Ratio. Uh, you needed to go into something you could combo off of. I think they could have done finger. No, because Grab already took the OTG. Yeah, they, they no, could have no, done they could do, they pillar. Could do they could have done pillar of creation. Yeah. Tip command throw. Good blocks. Very brave pushing a button. Uh, you do not need to push block drill. It is not safe on block. By not push blocking it, you force them to go into super, which you can then push block guard cancel punish. If you push block the first hit of the fireball super. Uh, you can then punish them. Yeah, you can punish Meaty. them on, re on the recovery. Okay. Oh, which I think we tried to snap, but yeah. they didn't have meter. We had no yeah. meat. Kill the character. Nice. Nice. Oh, nice grip. Oh, oh. we didn't get any break. Alright, pick up. Or you might not have asked for it. Dovadox might have asked for it. I forget which one. But you, you are still on the docket for right after this versus Dovadox. Alright, nice time to tag. Alright, get out of there. Careful you, with your assist. Yep. Yeah. You just worked really hard to make sure he lives only to send him to his death five seconds later. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Item drop. And we go after Agent 5. I think Agent 5 is still si signed to play uh, Doba Docs. Yeah, this was, just, this was just an open lobby. So yeah, this is... Uh, they're double dipping, so to speak. 
Can it even get to their actual dip yet? <laughs> or did I just... I don't know, I might be... smoking some whack stuff. I swear there was a reason I shifted that magic No, I to remember the end. I saw there was, no, I remember there was something okay. that I I remember but I don't I don't, I don't remember who it was though. There's there's a reason you're at the end and we did not forget to. I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it, okay. No, it was Novadox. It was Novadox, okay. that's the reason. Okay. So you were you were partially correct. Wait, we had a brass. Brass, brass. I guess I guess they just didn't want to. And the corner, nice. Yep, you cannot commit to those buttons when Philia is that close. Okay, we're in. Oh, nice anti here. Oh, we didn't get, we didn't get after. All right, punish the assist. Nice crit. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta punish that hard tag. Oh, we did. We got a counter hit. Oh, was I? I thought it was. Yeah, right we ahead. just didn't convert after. So that's only gonna hit the assist, you can't do that there. Cause you're exploding for this. Ooh, nice. You have to recognize when an assist is still vulnerable. Oh, do we Ooh. hit Yes, keep hitting it. Oh we no had a little bit more time. We mash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we don't pick up. I would say uh, delay not, the job. Not bad all, all things considered. Oh, why'd we raw tag out? I thought that was the brass assist. There was little to no reason to rock tag into band unless you really wanted the matchup, but even then, raw I, tagging I into band isn't really the way to get them in safely. Yeah. I think it's more better when you're when you're closer when you're already at the corner. Yeah. So what is your advice for this matchup? Uh <laughs> Honestly, when it comes to band peacock, it's definitely like what I what I usually try to do is just e break armor my way through or just parry parry my way in slowly. Yeah. So yeah, the the full send brass is not gonna get you there more often than not. It's you kind of have to get into yourself with parries and a little bit of movement to a space where H brass is actually a threat because you I think you even committed to M brass in neutral there and it just it won't reach it's not gonna reach. The the other thing that you can do as well too and I know uh, shout outs to Baghdad on it, uh, but it's it, it's kind of hard to a little bit more notice it as well too when there's a bunch of things flying at at, at this at the, at the screen. Is that especially after the item drop, it does push you forward as well too, so you can so you can do H press and get the pun and get the hard knockdown, and you're slowly working your way in as well too. So, it's it's definitely a quote unquote patience game, but for sure it's it's you you just kind of have to like you just know that yes you are gonna take some damage working your way in, but once once you get in, you're definitely gonna capitalize and make yourself and make Peacock suffer for sure. Me. Um, say definitely, I would say cool it off right now too. I know this game and this game can definitely like, especially for characters like P and Fortune, can tilt you, uh, can tilt us off to the face of the earth. But but right now, again, is let's just cool it off right now. But other than that, uh, I don't know if you got any other advice on that for um. uh, on the jump. I'm trying to think, but it looks more or less like solid Skullgirls. There was definitely a couple times where if we had been more cognizant of which supers we're using, so yeah, it was for Devadox, you could have gone into Pillar, yeah. Pillar and gotten a kill rather than just getting a little bit more extra damage. We did a really good job fighting our way like out of the corner, out of bad situations. We did commit, especially versus Philia, to zoning a little bit too hard, and then she was kind of above our head when we were trying to throw projectiles and just letting them get a free hit. At that point, you need to go into panic, save the character mode. And so it's either just commit to playing good defense, or if you have time, buy yourself more space with like a back jump heavy punch and just shoot yourself backwards while giving massive disjoints. But like you, you committed to stand heavy punch while someone was right above your head, and you just got blasted for it. The the other thing uh, I would uh, that I would I, I would also would have liked to seen as well too, um, that I, I I just I, I noticed now, 
looking back at it. I didn't see any Lenny, a, a, any Lenny drops to make it also a little bit more challenging for your for your opponent to come in at you because once Lenny's out, they have to a little bit, uh, uh, they have to respect it a little bit more. They there's because there is not like they can just easily, uh, for example, when there's a brass when your opponent has a brass assist. They they use it and then Lenny will explode and your that that assist will die. <laughs> that assist will explode for sure. So definitely would like to see something like that a little bit more neutral yeah. if you do have meter to spend as well too. And if y'all have any further questions, because I know we were very kind of loose about the things we talked about or covered, and if you have any very specific questions about any parts of that set, just ping us, preferably with a timestamp, and I'll gladly answer any other questions you have, because probably missed a couple things you might have wanted to look at. Uh, yeah. I was not the best about advice this set, which is why I just said, if you're watching it and you have specific questions, I will gladly go through again and answer things, because that was not the greatest. The, the I mean, once you I... get once you get to a high enough level, that is what the advice becomes. It's like there is no one magic potion to win every single matchup versus every single player. Everyone plays a little bit differently. Each character plays a little bit differently. So you need to learn the character specific interactions and then the player like the matchup specific interactions. It, it's that is what high level fighting games ends up becoming. It is. Yeah, like, it it definitely it definitely becomes a lot more like sure yes you're gonna know you're you're you still need to know a, a bit more of your character not the character knowledge of what what your character can do against said uh said uh, against that character but it also at the same time you it, uh, like Don said it's also gonna be a player thing as well too so for example oh, for, like my bayo is gonna be different than how swing plays. Bayo and we essentially run the same the same team so we're we don't so our thing is not gonna always be quote unquote the same in terms of our decision making and things like that it's the same thing for how uh, you look at jp uh, the way jp plays the fukua uh the fukua double and you play someone like maze Every, everyone's gonna be different for sure we can only give so there's only so much that we can give in terms of the character knowledge as well but at at the player at the player decision, there's only so much we can do as well too. Especially for like a for like a straight three game set. So agent was just around. Yeah. Other than that, um. Agent was just here, so. I ping them in Discord. Yep, you are. Hop on in. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right. Cora. All right, can I get myself kicked out by saying I still haven't completed any of the, the last Airbender and or Cora? I have not watched a single episode of any of them. All right, cool. So only, only so we're not the only sinners. <laughs> I do not watch very many shows. Fair. I'm a YouTube uh -oh. troll. The mirror. Almost mirror. I... Only the meds are different. All right, there's gonna. I'm sure we can definitely help on this. <laughs> Baghdad, we're gonna be leaning on you a little bit. Teleport, get him the punish. Full combo. Um, yeah. I think we, we probably could have done the Lenny, Lenny into Argus. I think we had enough time, right? Get out. Get away. Get rid of the brass. Alright, pack Next it up. Time. Get your, so, get your zoning going. we just worked so hard to set up ourselves space, and then we teleported in without even forcing the Eliza to even think about approaching us. You can give yeah. it a little bit more time before you commit to just oh. running in. Nice. 
You also, Five. the Eliza was at zero health, so you could have pressed anything and a trade goes in your favor because they die. Yeah. We're pressuring. Throw after the push block. Alright, the next. Okay. Oh, yep, the left right. This should be dead character. Yep. Alright. Now, what do we do, Ban? I think we're going to explode. Oh, boom. Yep, router. Can we get it all set up? Oh, I thought for a minute Lenny wasn't gonna move. I'm like, Lenny, you okay? <laughs> also, Bag, do you know how PDHC synergies into Pillar work? Because they were saying that Argus doesn't work into uh, but, 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 uh, Pillar. Do you know if it works after the beam, or if you just need to be really careful about making sure one of the final projectiles doesn't hit? I think it's timing on the projectiles, if I remember. Because, I don't see yeah, why because... it would not work after just the initial beam. But this game has so much random specific jank, I wouldn't be surprised. Teleport oh. behind. Oh, but the oh, we got hit by George. My punch move. Oh, what? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't think teleport should bear our default in scrambles like that. Both y'all were kind of just doing it. Get through the right, zone and counter it. Nice. Punch no punish. Alright, hard tag. No, don't go. Let's not call our peacock that we're just trying to say. Oh, you still could have up forwarded and still oh, avoided nice. the lane. Um, yeah, we already used to it. Okay, our ban is bleeding. Do we try to go for the character or let's see? It looks like it. I think we're gonna try to kill. Yeah. I don't think there's any try about it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, unless <laughs> you oh. could have also alpha countered to save your character on one of the final hits of the super. Just get them out of there safely. Yeah. Alright, bring out Lenny. Yep, that's not safe. Yep. Oh, wait. More. Yeah, it, no, it doesn't go through an Lenny. opponent's Lenny. Oh, you call it the teleport. Nice. Nice. All Good right. adaptation. Yeah. But Got yeah, punched. you've been using brass a lot, and it's been getting counter called by their brass. So you've been buying yourself space at a lot of health, at the cost of a lot of health from your band. So if you can either try and be less reliant on it, or. Wait for them to do what you've been doing. And if they call brass first, then you counter call it. Yeah, and try and it's... put the damage on their brass. Because you calling it first, while it buys you a little bit more time for projectiles and stuff, it royally like <laughs> screws over your band. Yeah, your, your band is going to be the strongest soldier <laughs> for sure. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely like when it comes to the counter calling thing as well too. You're you're especially when it's brass beat brass is a game of chicken of who's gonna call their brass first. I know. We could have thrown there. Okay, got the fifth thing. Huge Loki. Oh, Annie's the six H. Uh, six H D. I did not think that was. Jesus. We got to set up the zoning. All this right, isn't gonna work. Counter? Oh, torch. Oh, we almost had it, but George stopped it. I think we could have put down right Lenny the there. Console. It would have gotten us punished, but we would have had Lenny out and not gotten hit by that George. Yeah. A little bit too early on the DP. Or on the oh, boat, rather. The boat's Ooh, actually nice. got to hit them OTG, or else you won't be able to convert off of it. Alright, breath. We are using two medium kick a lot on Eliza block strings, and that is an awful button all around. It by itself is push block guard cancel punishable, and it's minus 11 on block. I highly, highly encourage you use oh. crouch medium punch instead. It's also just a better hit confirm because it scales you less. Also, this is a really- low profiles, doesn't it? Yeah. This, it does, uh -oh. yeah. Do we this have a happy is... birthday? You don't need to stop here. You can meter dump, kill both characters. Wait, I, I, I do mean, like that you I, recognize that this is the safe option, but you could have actually just done a full-on dizzy combo and killed both characters there. 
a well, little bit more I, I think, I, I think I think the thinking was is that is that Peacock can possibly fall out. I mean, especially since it's a small versus a small yeah. and big band together. So I so I, I can't really blame them on the safe option for sure. Yeah. And then one final thing about that Eliza point. When you had the H Crescent in your face and you whiffed the stand heavy punch, if your DP hits a projectile, it is still jump cancelable. So you can caught the DP there, jump cancel into blocking, and block the level 3 that was coming to punish you. And that that, that is a whole lot of things to like keep in mind, but it's... I'm not saying you need to do this consistently, it's just here's a thing that works and it helps to have in your head. And so all of a sudden you kind of go, oh I recognize the situation, I can jump cancel and keep myself safe here. And the, in order to make sure you can block after, you need to neutral jump. It's it's kind of finicky. You can also do this with assists with any launcher, but that's specific for Eliza with projectiles. You launch them, and then you neutral jump, and you can block immediately afterwards, and it lets you keep yourself safe. So if you've accidentally overextended, or to prevent yourself from overextending, you can jump cancel and then block afterwards. Other than that, we talked about the brass, and your zoning was definitely kind of stock standard, predictable, and you got it got shown because they started just teleporting and punishing you for it. But you did yeah. learn to react to that, and then you Argus them. It's a little bit expensive, but it got them off you and prevented the punish. It was a bit of a no you Uno reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, speaking of the teleports, yeah, I think the other thing I think what we were saying earlier is just be, being uh, where you're teleporting as well as like the times that you are teleporting. I think I think uh, in Baghdad, I think maybe you can, uh, you can say more on this, especially like uh, I I'm not too sure when it comes to like the PVP, uh, like the mirror for that uh, for that specifically. But I it would definitely be like if you're already being like you're stuck in the corner situation and. You're just trying to get out of there, or even when they're starting to get their zoning pattern going, it's teleport so that way you can get up there and punish them as well too. So there, there was those those plays as well too. So just being careful. Okay. P mirror is a clown show. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> it it definitely it looks it feels like it's definitely who can get their who can get their stuff started first. But yeah, she just has so many tools. Wait, is there a reason why she have been? I don't know, because we don't, I don't have. I an don't think they're signed this. up. They're not. Yeah, they're not signed up. So is that? <laughs> do we? Do we count? Do we? Do I mean, we do I, I was I was gonna lobby? make an open lobby yeah. for 15, 20 minutes for the end of the stream. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, you also think Band beats uh, Brass, or Band beats P, Band beats P, period. So your opinions are a little subject to change. Or are subject we... to suspicion, further scrutinize scrutinization. Oh. That's not a word. Wait, actually, I don't... do I want to play right now, or... I mean, I'm not playing right now. I'm just here to stream. The oh, games. No. oh, well, okay then. I'll, yo, share your screen then. I don't want to play. <laughs> uh, I was going in right now. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, is this? I'm right in everything I say. Okay, buddy. Yeah, and and, and I'm right when I when I say that uh, Beowulf loses to every every uh every character nine one. It's a not, it, he only gets the one. I hate how volatile the Parabeo matchup is, man. It's like, yes, you can keep them out, but the second you mess up once, you're just here like... Mm, that, <laughs> that is definitely what I say for sure. I'm like, yo, you let Bayo in, that's your fault. You you definitely lost the neutral. Bayo's neutral isn't that bad, though. Yo. Okay, but how many... When you, when, you, when you say that, is there a brass behind it, though? I, like, Bale has good spacing tools. He just doesn't have a projectile. That's his one downside. 
I mean, he does. It's just that he has to get a bat. <laughs> <laughs> but like, jump heavy punch, stand heavy punch are both pretty good spacing tools. His sweep and arm are absolutely massive. But which sweep are we talking about? Are we talking about armor? Yeah. Armor. I mean, his neutral or his chair sweep is not bad. Man. Yeah, like his like when he has a chair, he's like he's great, and he has his neutral. The minute you lose it, it's, it's like what yeah. JP says. He gets a power up. <laughs> he's an interesting character. He, he's definitely interesting, but it, but it's definitely like. <laughs> I think what was it? I was, I was talking to Conway. Just like, yeah, no, he. I, I can't think of anything else that you can do to really <laughs> to like help him out. It's just like, yeah, he's at a he's at a good part, but he definitely needs like. I mean, friends to enable. He's a grappler. He's a quote unquote grappler. <laughs> Tumpkin Part Two Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Actually, well, the, he came out after Band. Right? So it'd be part Pretty three. Sure, yeah. Well, I, I forget what people call the Badumkin characters in this game. I know there's Band. It's Is band. it Band, Bella? I don't know. I think it's just mainly Band. And... Yeah, I think. I I've definitely heard people say there are two or three Badumkin characters in this game. <laughs> The only two that I can think about that are the Batangans is, is, is truly Ban and Panzerfaust. Yeah. Well, Panzerfaust isn't in this game, unfortunately. Whoa, I, I forget there's a projectile with that, and I think Shove did too. Either that or they missed uh, miss time to parry. That's too late. We didn't need to move. We make ourselves safe. Yeah. I think they're trying to PBGC something. Yeah. But, oh, what you call it? Bayo just deals so much damage. He has such a high reward on hit; it's ludicrous. Oh yes, sir. Compared I mean, he, to, he, I mean, he earned it. He got it. <laughs> I mean, compare his reward on hit to a character like Eliza. Yo, oh no, what's what's the meme with her? She's a she's a mid range character. <laughs> well, so I don't know. <laughs> I I do I do want to put more time into her more because she can actually use her heavies for spacing so much more now, um, and so I want to try it. But we'll see. I'm just gonna I'm, see if I can play her like Parasol. I I definitely will say the, the thing you I I think Juice is the one that said it's just like I think I think she's uh, like even her buttons are like pretty good, but. Um, Unfortunately, she her buttons also extend her her box more. Yeah, than, I mean, than so it actually should be. <laughs> there's that, but there's uh, I still think after the changes, her stand, especially heavy kick, heavy punch is really thin, but it's still pretty good and far reaching. I didn't, like those are two of the best buttons in the game, in my opinion, because I put a, her stand heavy kick is literally just parasol stand heavy punch with not quite as easy of a way to convert off of it now. I, I uh, every time I look at the Eliza buttons, I look at JHP and JHK. And I, yeah, I no, like, those oh, these buttons, <laughs> these buttons are sucking down. <laughs> JHK is like it needs to be as bad as it is, but at the same time, it still sucks that it's that bad. <laughs> but yeah, like, another I, thing. I want to try. Can I get back to the uh, to the the Bay of Fortune uh, matchup discussion for the ump time of Bayo being the counter? I love I love you, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, no, I can I can definitely see the complaints. It's just playing that from the Fortune side. It's one of those matchups where it's like, yes, I'm favored, but again, if I fuck up, shit feels real bad. And because a lot of her approaches are kind of lanky, DP just feels like it scoops you up out of everything. <laughs> It's funny, because, so I was definitely the same thing. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is 6-4. And then I play Komodo. We run it, and I'm like, oh, I understand why it's 5-5 five five now. It's literally because whoever got the touch. <laughs> whoever, gets, whoever got the touch and got started. Yep. yep. It's, I don't, it's the 5-5. Five five. I really don't know where I'd put it, 5-5, five 6-4, five, whatever. I'm 
I don't know how to judge those that well. I just I know when I played Fortune, what I found obnoxious, and Bayo is one of those matchups where it's like, yes, if I'm on him, I get to do things, but if I'm like dashing at him and trying to close space where I'm kind of at that mid range where DP and stand heavy punch reach. Um, all of my options kind of just end up losing to DP, so it feels like a guessing game on approach. I'm only plus one. You can you can definitely jab. <laughs> yeah. That one to me is the is the craziest thing is that even though I'm plus one, Fortune's jab really stuffs out a lot of his options. <laughs> well, now you know how Parasol players feel because one, all of her stuff is minus, but even the options she has for being plus, outside of Crouching Light Punch. They're neutral or plus one on block. So she loses. <laughs> this is literally the life of a Parasol player. <laughs> the one thing that Yo Yo, yo shout out to Yo Yo. The funniest thing he ever told me is that why is Fortune Normals outbeats Parasols when she's a sword character? <laughs> I mean, so the only the only Fortune Normal that really like outswords Parasol is Crouching Light Kick, and that's more so because Parasol sticks her legs out for everything she does. Um, Hon honestly, the normals that Parasol has is definitely the type of character I would play in any other game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, the thing. So, uh, what's it? What is it? What? Oh, what are, yeah, why are you sniping play. there? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, there's no. I'm like, there's no way you, you get through this, right? Um, but. Yeah, what's a? I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, it's okay. Speaking of losing your train of thought, let's look at Pain Wheel, though. <laughs> uh, the, apparently, there was a discussion today as well, too, this it's revolving Pain Wheel. I'm like, how? So, my opinion, I genuinely think Pain Wheel is an incredibly strong character who just has really bad quality of life. Very similar to Valentine. My opinion for both those characters are similar, because if they run their game plan, it's really hard to stop them from doing it. If you play Pain Wheel mid, DH Centaur, murder a character, and then just play Runaway for the entire game, it is so hard for the majority of the cast to deal with that. Puts a lean between a, a, a back fly beam. Wait, that's not gonna yeah. work? They're not close well, to I mean, to be fair, they're in chip, in chip range too. So. I don't, I don't, was that gonna chip them out? Really? Yeah, that would've chipped them out, yeah. They didn't have that much life left. I thought they had more. Maybe I'm blind. I don't know. It's okay. Yo-Yo's ripping off on me. I like talking smack. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Not really. I only talk smack for people who... Mainly it's like Mao and Dry. I'll just absolutely trash. <laughs> the, the, you... the good friends. Also Doc. <laughs> I, I'm, gener I'm generally nice. And then I play someone that... Yo, they see that... I look at them, the things that they do, it looks like I'm like, I'm gonna trash talk all day now. <laughs> There's only one person on move. QM who I will actually like DM and teabag, but I'm not gonna be that person it's and air out stuff on screen. <laughs> and it's okay, I'll play them on my local pretty soon. Hopefully I can I can win it again. Smile. Oh did them. wait, did you win last week? Or not last week, but last time? Yeah, I won. I won the uh, local last time. I, I I beat them to get into uh, grand finals. Winner side. I literally just said I'm not gonna name names, and you're like, I here's how you find exactly who Duns hates playing against on QM. Oh uh, okay. yes, the pain wheel mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the one that's using the Valley Girl voice. If you're not using the Valley Girl, I'm not really I clear. hate you. <laughs> Valley Girl is like the most blurst thing possible, and I hate it so much. What? What? Out of all the other ones? Okay, so I think... I think the only actual alternate voice line I enjoy like consistently is... Salty Parasol. Salty Parasol is good. It's so, like Republican uh, Double... It's good in certain situations, but hearing it all the time is just really great. Oh yeah. I feel the it's... same about Valley Girl Painwheel. What are the other alternate voice packs? There's big bands. There's a uh, uh, I, I forget what the, I forget what it's actually called, but there's like Saxium Band, there's the anime peacock or whatever. 
Oh, I don't remember anime Pika. There's a. Uh, I don't care about there... like Japanese versions of the voices. Those are fine, but like of the no, actual no, no, no. American voice packs. Yeah, the uh, uh, Peacock has that. Yeah, no, has... I, I was I was just making sure people understood. That's what I was talking about. It's like, oh, I, I just find Bimu hilarious, honestly. Bimu, Bimu, Bimu. I mean, to be fair, the, the Japanese vo uh, voice for Rose, I'm I significantly better than the English one. <laughs> I Why? mean, right now I ha I have Jotaro as my as my Beowulf right now. <laughs> oh no. I love Kai, but I'm just like now that I'm playing. I, now that, whenever I played the Sev team, I'm just like Be Beowulf needs to be in his Japanese voice. It's, it's the only way I can play and do this thing. What else has another thing? There's Skull Heart, uh, yeah. Umbra, uh, um, Umbra. <laughs> Umbra. Oh the, yeah, the Umbi one. I don't know how. I actually haven't played versus it a lot at all. All all I know is like the Philly looks sus versus Pukwa because it Yo. blew up. I just remembered we that me like me and Yo Yo stopped in like literally during the match. <laughs> yep. Because of that. <laughs> Did she just say that? <laughs> yeah. No. I, I still blame Graham for that one. Anything that has to do with Abundus is all Graham's fault. Yeah. No. It's like Parasol. So take the damn shot is just iconic. When when she beats Philia, she has a chance to say "back to the dumpster child," which is just like the most brutal voice line in this game. <laughs> no, the other one, yo, I'm gonna, I'm about to use my, I'm about to break my the PG toll right now. Is, is the one, that, the one that Parasol does, which is like, you you mess with the, uh, you, like, you, you yeah. got the wrong bitch to mess with. <laughs> yep. That one is, oh my god, that was so. Oh, that's god. not super. Yeah. Salty Parasol is just all violence, and I'm here for it all day, every day. I'm still waiting for Dominican Bayo. Yeah, I mean, it fits the way I play Bayo. Parasol, because I just hold my ground and say, run at these buttons. <laughs> Do it, I dare you. <laughs> I think that's it, I the voice tags. I can't think of anybody else. Yeah. Actually, we were talking about this earlier, or yesterday, um, I was just like, what kind of parasol do people even say I am? Because I'm like, I don't think I'm a zoning para, but I wouldn't necessarily say I'm an aggro para. I definitely think you're more defensive, for sure. I, I just, <laughs> I'll hold this push block like, you out, catch you doing something stupid, and then I get hit and die. <laughs> you, you sit there with Moai face and just be like, alright, come to me now, I dare you. <laughs> And then I get hit by the unblockable, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> Chap -chap My bad, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's unblockable, you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah. Because <laughs> right, we, we were talking about it, like, we, it kind of came up yesterday, because I think we were watching whatever tournament. Uh, oh, was it Ron? Yeah, it was Ron's. It was Friday. Uh, and so we were like talking about KJ, how KJ is like, the only one we might consider a rushdown parasol, because you have I like do play it aggressively. you, and I'm like, because I'm like I play against parasols and I like feel pretty good in the mirror because I'm so used to playing against like Barry and Hydra, Hydra and Yo-Yo, namely, and a little bit of a Divas, but they are much more like use assist, control space, zone parasol, and then I play versus KJ, I get in the corner, I'm like, wait, how the hell do I deal with this man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here going, wait, when is it my turn? What am I supposed yeah, to do? That, I don't know how to deal with a parasol in my face. That is definitely me. Where I fight you guys, and then, like, Zol I haven't played Zolly in a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot about Zolly. Zolly's also a more zoning soul. Yeah, it's like you, you guys are like more patiently like like waiting your turn to like oh you messed up, I'm in there. Yeah, and so and, and I'm like the, I am a parasol who will dash forward and press buttons on you, but I am not to the extent that KJ does it. And there's like a definite spectrum of the way uh, parasols play the game that KJ is kind of the only one all the way over there. I mean, I can't think of any other NA parasols right now that are. <laughs> That, that aren't the ones that we just described. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, there's... God, I'm gonna probably say a person not... I control has a parallel team, right? Or am I thinking of... Uh, Dante? I, I'm so bad at people's oh, names Oh, you're thinking about Wing! 
No, Wait, so no, I know, I know. Out. Wing has quote unquote a parrot team, but it's like they they, they <laughs> have a, they have a parasol, but it's not their team. But there's like like who did who did uh who did Juice lose to at uh, CEO? What was that parrot player? Because oh, like there there are a couple. Oh Shade. Yeah, yeah Shade, Shade has a para. LD. Oh Shade Yo, LD. Yeah. LD is my favorite para. I, I'm sitting here like I know I'm forgetting people's names and I'm completely misremembering like some of the legacy players who I don't play against very often. But yeah, and again, those are much more zoning souls. Liam when he played was definitely a zoning soul. Peck was as well. Like people definitely opt a lot more into the zoning spacing game. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah. those are some of her good tools. She's, yeah, she's she's like Guile. She's got the the sonic boom shots. Yeah, no. Yeah, they I guess <laughs> so fast. Yeah, I guess I. Hmm. I don't know if I'd say mid range or spacing for my soul because I I will zone, but I also will just press forward. It's weird. Yeah, I mean, parasol approach is kind of sketchy, but at the same time, it's 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 weird because it's like. Her approach options are jank, but at the same time, she is the one of the best forward dashes in the game. <laughs> she Yo, will like they, jump scare and just double. <laughs> gotcha. Yo, when it happens around Star, when it's dash up low, <laughs> I'm like, bro, I was not ready. <laughs> Yo, chill. One of my favorite round starts is because you can uh, buffer charges and then like get them after a dash because of how generous the charge inputs are in this game. Round start dash pillar is violence, and I love it so much. Uh, I'm just waiting for the part for someone to just run up and run, uh, just do a run up to me, and then just and then just last kick him, so that way I can just quit. And I can just quit the game forever. I bag that. I cannot tell you how many times I have thrown, had para ground throw with, and then got counter hit by the person trying to attack the throw. Or gotten punished because I tried to throw, uh, like a pain wheel charging, uh, <laughs> patron guard in front of me, and it just like spits out on her hands, but it doesn't quite actually hit her. The one that will always kill me. I I, I know I've done this the most to Yo Yo, <laughs> and I remember, and you guys would get so mad when it happens. Is that he'll do the throw? I do wolf shoot. And everyone gets mad. God, I I don't know why I don't just go, oh wait, they're wolf shooting. I can literally just jab here. I, I always try and jump out of it when I'm like, I straight up can just jab this and it does nothing to me. But my brain goes, no, be afraid. Scary grappler man is coming for your soul. No, the one that gets me is when it gets you at max range. I'm like, be all right here. I'm gonna punish you easy. Grip me. Oh, don't I look goofy? <laughs> yeah, no, the, um... <sighs> Again, and this is actually true for a lot of characters in the cast, but specifically uh, Parasol and Valentine, their gate is so wide that throws have a deceptively longer range versus them. The amount of times Mao has caught me with dash up D drop because my toe is like just barely sticking out, I want to scream. You know what's the funny thing? I I was told about this. I didn't know, is that, uh, like for example, for Bella like that, it's definitely like they do like two two MP and then into like MG. Oh yeah, Kara can. It actually it, it it actually extends yep. like it, the the hitbox. I'm like, what? One hundred percent. Honestly, one of my favorite Eliza routes I learned how to uh, Kara cancel with stand heavy kick. Card Dude, cancels just... are very few and far between in this game, but they are very satisfying to do. I hate I hate the online special one that Eliza has. Because <laughs> yeah, I... when it happens, I don't know if it was rollback or, <laughs> or if it was actually the thing. Like I I want to name the individual, but there's an individual that's out in a, in a different place that does that to me, and I get so mad when it happens to me offline. Like Natalie did that to me offline, and I'm like. You know what? I wasn't ready. <laughs> Shame on me. <laughs> no. You do it to me twice? I hate you. <laughs> Honestly, the thing I need to get a little bit better with 
for uh, Parasol is, especially when you're like controlling space mid range, two medium punch shot shifts you backwards. But if you need to shift yourself forward, sweep into shot, Kara cancels you forwards. And so Penny was actually really good at using Kara cancels to control their space. I'll be real. I love the pain wheel mirror. <laughs> oh my god. Why are mirrors in this game such clown fiestas? So you have P, Robo, and Para mirrors are all kind of just like projectile fests. Get me away from whatever's about to hit me. Um, no, you. No, you know which one's the other funny one is the fight it, it, or the the Bayo mirrors. Yeah, <laughs> the Bayo mirrors are like, who got the hit? Who's gonna get the hit? Let, let's go. You know, there, there's that there's oh. Val mirrors and Painwheel mirrors, which is kind of just everyone floating above where the other character can actually hit nicely. <laughs> there's Fortune and Philia mirrors where they're just flying all over the place <laughs> and doing the stupidest mix to each other. Um... Wait, at squiggly mirrors si singing to each other. <laughs> band mirrors, literally just two icebergs jumping. Dude, the band mirror is like a Fear Factor episode. <laughs> I, I, I'm like trying to defuse a bomb over here when it's a, when it's a, when it's a band mirror. I'm like, oh my god, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> the Bella mirror is just two characters who finally don't have to worry about being forced to approach their opponent because they can both they're both have to approach like no who, who, i think it was the sonic and sage mirror when they did the bella mirror was the most clown one where they're 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 they both did dynamo and they're all walking the same side no one hitting each other i'm like ah yes <laughs> skull girls skull girls at its finest <laughs> Yeah, uh, mirrors uh, in this game are whack. I don't actually know if I've ever seen an Umbi mirror. Well, there's only like five people that play Umbi, so... Yeah. I, I, it'll also be interesting because... So I know Nope and Odd have two... Like, they're somewhat similar, Very but they're different ways of playing the character. Yeah, I think... Oh my god, I cannot believe that way. <laughs> a pain wheel. The button is massive. Yo, imagine if things like that whiff, right? Viewer would never whiff. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think definitely it's Nope and Odd Bear that are like the, the obvious to look at. Right the two now. ones with the most results, I. And this isn't like trying to slight KJ, I just don't know if I've seen one they're on me that much to know how they play it and two they don't play it all that, that much often, in like yeah. big tournaments. Yeah, that's I, I know like KJ's thing. working on it. It's like the same th same time like you, you whenever oh my god. <laughs> it's the same thing with uh, KJ brings out band. It's like oh wait what? You have a band? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Honestly I'm just happy that I'm at the point where I can force KJ to play their main team and not their band team. I mean, hey, listen, that makes. I won't... <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I'm doing something right. I mean, listen, he called. Uh, uh, not that I'm trying to talk smack, but listen, I'm a god. <laughs> he, he said so himself. The, he think uh, the the para the para Beowulf matchup is is pretty skewed. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think I'd probably feel different about the para matchup if I had assists. Because <laughs> play, playing para versus Bayo without an assist is definitely... I, I probably am a little bit need to respect more than I would otherwise. And that's probably honestly where my opinion of that matchup comes from. Because Beowulfs usually have a very strong neutral assist with them. I, rem I remember talking to Sev at one point. About like you know, I'm like so. Generally speaking, when you do like, when when you whenever you play against solos, like what do you generally do? Like do you just try to go more oaky or like when you when you when do you usually uh, like what what's usually like the the game plan of just like type B? Just like yeah, just do oaky and fall asleep. 
I'm like, I'm out here trying to play like, yo, snap loop meta over here. <laughs> Just trying to have a fun time. You, like, I don't know why you get... snap loop. You're wasting meter you can literally use to kill two touches earlier. Like, the, the first time you do it, it's for good amount of red health and incoming. 100% okay. fine. And then you do it three more times and I'm sitting here like, what the hell is this man thinking? <laughs> you know, you know who I have to blame for it? <laughs> you want me to give you the name of who actually started started for me to do that a lot more? Who did this? <laughs> who done it? Who hurt you? <laughs> it's Hydra. <laughs> because I did that at a B grade. And I thought about it, I'm like, I was like, wait, I did it in a tournament, I think I did it, I think it was against biceps or something, that I was like, wait, it's a solo, and if the, and if my memory serves me correctly, they, I can just make them, like, you know, snap loop, I can just do snap loops, and they have to keep, I guess, on the incoming, so, yeah. I mean, and like, especially, like, for characters that don't have, like, the air circle re reversals or anything, I can just M chair all day, just do, like, <laughs> do all of this, I'm like, let me have fun. Let me party mode up. I got meter. <laughs> I'm getting much better about knowing what side it's going to hit. Because it does have some tells. It do it definitely does. Yeah, now now that more people have been getting used to it, and like they're fighting the counterplay for it, I'm like, damn, I guess I got to mix it up now. <laughs> now I got to do other stuff. And then you do like super jump jump heavy punch that just randomly slurps him into the corner. And it's like, bruh. I did, no, I that one I remember I was like wait I because I I look yo I need to know what they gonna come back up because I'm I'm trying to look into more stuff uh, like more like like of like the sub matches or anybody that really uses like that type of team or even just like Bayo Bella band that's not like the usual sage stuff. And I'm like I need some more ideas and like like or try to see what what else I can incorporate. And I, I like maybe I'm not seeing. It was like the the super jump JHP one it was definitely like something I saw like Sev do and I'm like oh let me give this a shot let me see if, how, how this is this th I know this is a left right and it can be super punished through uh, what you call it the la if they if the uh, Lancaster but let me see if they can even make adjustments. Uh oh, minor. Minor and a diner, my it? might have exploded oh. a little bit. The stream's acting up right now for me. Yeah. And my my like actually spectating the match froze. So I think I was I was gonna try and call it after that game anyway, but okay, we <laughs> even got more reason one. to. <laughs> I think yeah, I must call it here, folks. Thanks for showing up. Yeah. yeah thank shout outs to everyone. Yeah, and thank you, Rubith, for hopping on in. No, much um, thanks thanks for having me in. And again, if y'all have any other questions, please ping us with them. And if they're like specifically to something that happened in the game with a timestamp and we will gladly go back over and look at them again. Uh, but that is all from us. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening. Take care, everybody. Go the weekend everyone.